Senator Kruger. You know, thank you. We have so many wonderful people coming to testify today that I almost don't want to ask questions, but I, first I want to recognize Dr. Barth, and thank you for all the work you have been doing for so many of us for so long. And, and your, all of your testimony, and I think particularly Elizabeth Radow, Radow's, shows how we didn't even ask the right questions in the SGIS. And that is constantly the theme that I think my colleagues will agree. We're asking DEC to evaluate a very high risk new industry for the state of New York, except when we drafted, whoever drafted the scope of what they were supposed to look at and evaluate, we didn't even know half the questions that now we know should have been asked and answered in order to get to the right science. So, you know, Elizabeth, your testimony about the impact on homeowners and mortgages and the responsibility for replacement of damaged land and liability. I think particularly that no one knew this, and particularly in light of the fact that you have all these non-disclosure agreements. Even if I was to ask you, so if we factored in the non-disclosure agreement, what really was the value of land and houses, I think you would have to tell me, well, I don't know, because obviously some of the worst case scenarios are locked away in secret agreements, and so there's not truthful information out there for somebody attempting to study the question to get. So it's not so much a question as, you know, even how do we do the right research to get to the right answers before we allow any of this to go forward? Well, I would say that I, w I would hope there may be some attention paid to whether or not there are public policy reasons for not allowing non-disclosure agreements in certain circumstances. Because um, I am seeing on a sociological level, I think a disintegration of this country. And I'm not, I don't think being too dramatic when I say this. Um, there was a reference made to the fact that people are homeless in Pennsylvania. And there is a cascading effect here. Uh, let me just bear with me for a minute because I know other people want to speak. But landlords are able to raise their rent because you've got, uh, you've got people in the industry who can pay more for rent. So the people who are living with their families in those rentals, these are not people with gas leases, are now displaced. Once you take a family out of their home, it changes the entire dynamic of what is going to happen with the trajectory of the children in that family. You have drinking, you, have, you, you know the panoply of problems. And uh, people are also afraid to speak. They can't even get the uh, service people, social service people, to the people's homes wherever they're living, where they're living in cars, because the roads are torn up. I mean, it goes on and on and on. If we can get baseline studies to make sure that we know where we are at the beginning so that we can say to the industry, we know where we're beginning right now, number one, and, and have them funded by the industry, however, they should be performed by third parties. And number two, I think there should be public policy that non-disclosure agreements are not okay. And number three, disclosure of the chemicals should not be trade secrets. Maybe some other type of protection, but that is not the appropriate type of protection. We cannot take care of ourselves if we don't know what our, we're putting in our bodies. And then we start to perhaps level the playing field. It may make the process expensive, mm -hmm. but on the other side, we're not paying for it or subsidizing right. it. It seems to make it more fair. And then we get some of the answers to the questions that you're Thank asking. Thank you. May I just add one thing? I want you um, to be aware uh, there is actually a recent study by a Dr. Bonita Kolb from Lycoming College that studied the homelessness impacts of gas drilling in Pennsylvania and uh, it confirms everything that Beth just said. I want to thank this panel for their expert testimony. It's been very helpful. Thank you.